Hello! In this video we will see how to create this model using Rhino Emboss. As you can see I have previously created all the curves from the model. This one's, as you can see, already grouped as well. And the idea is to use all these curves to define the reliefs with Rhino Emboss. So let's start with Rhino Emboss. First, I need to define the project measures, so let me adjust a little bit more, cap type, in this case I want tilt base just to keep the curves and now of course resolution, I think this is enough and I can check here to start to find the Rhino emboss operations in this side panel. So let's start with a new operation, operation type by profile is the default operation and now I select this curve operation curve I will start with this one and I can use the gumbo to adjust the measures so I just need to refresh to check the results and ok I like it the result of course any moment we can adjust the aid to refresh again and now I will add a new operation, operation type once again by profiles and the curve I'm going to select this circle and now I want to place the profile in the middle. To do it I have one option under the operation settings which is inflate mode, I can find inflate so now as you can see the profile is in the center, I can adjust the 8 and style I will add to the previous operation so now I just show and refresh to check the results. OK, as you can see the profile was successful added. I can adjust a little bit less. Remember, double click, I can type exactly the distance I want and refresh. OK, now I can hide the gumballs with this icon and add a new operation by profile and I'm going to select the curve in this case this group of curves and adjust the profile in this case 8.7 millimeters and adjust a little bit refresh to check the results OK, result is what I was looking for, so let's move on, next operation, once again select the curve, in this case I'm going to select this one and let me change operation type, I'm going to select extrude and the gumball, I'm going to adjust the gumball, the distance I want and refresh to check the results. OK, as you can see in this case the extrusion was added to the previous ones and the result it's not the one I was looking for so under the operation settings I can adjust instead of add I will use highest union. So if I refresh now As you can see, the extrusion was united with the previous operations. So this is the result I was looking for. Let's hide the gumballs. Remember, if press shift, I hide all. And add a new operation. Operation type extrude. And the curve, I'm going to select this one and in this case I'm going to define style as subtract so I define the distance 0.5 millimeters and refresh so the idea is to subtract the operation from the previous one it was successful done and once again add a new operation operation type by profile and I'm going to select this group of curves Remember, I can hide the results, adjust the gumball. 
8 and now just need to show again and refresh okay the result is the one I was looking for and the last operation this curve operation type by profile and refresh okay this is the result Remom remember any moment we can go to project settings and for instance adjust the resolution or any other parameter cap distance everything so in here we just need to check again refresh to recalculate all the operations with a new resolution and as you can see the model is ready I can hide the gumballs so final step I just need to add the results to the document so Rhino Emboss is calculating the mesh in order to add all the model to Rhino but before it will open the decimator tool. This will allow us to reduce the mesh resolution. If needed, we can adjust the resolution. So let's see the results. Okay, now we have the decimator, we can check the mesh created, of course the idea is to reduce if needed, let's try 60% reduction. So as you can see the quality stays the same, so we can try 40%. Okay, seems cool. Also we can decimate by error, defining the distance from the original mesh. And in this case, as you can see, the, from the original number of faces or vertices we reduce 40%, which is very good in the file size. And as you can see, the resolution really, really cool. So a step check here to add the results to the document okay the mesh was successful created let me change display mode to render and the results are really good we can see in the bottom the cap type, flat bottom, very good, this is the idea. Also remember any moment we can go back to Rhino Emboss and select the project and back to edition or make a new project. So in this case if I want to go back to edition mode I can change any detail in this case I will not and keep the original result this is the idea I hope you like it thanks for watching